Hello everyone! What I'm going to do now is to show you how the EIM Universal XLS Import Update Tool can help you to import data from Excel to Maximo. This is Lesson 5. In Lesson 1, I gave you a short introduction to our tool. In Lesson 2, we learned how to define which users are authorized to use the tool. In Lesson 3, we learned how to do batch updates. In Lesson 4, we exported data from Maximo to Excel. In Lesson 5, we will learn how to import data from Excel to Maximo. It is important for the successful start of a new project to import all required data from different sources fast and consistently to Maximo. But also during running operations, new data have to be integrated or existing data have to be changed. Often the needed data exists in Excel or can be exported from various systems to the XLS Excel format. Excel is the perfect tool to collect or edit data. After the data are collected and formatted, they can be uploaded to Maximo. I prepared a small case study to show you how our Universal XLS Import Update tool can help you to import data from Excel to Maximo. Let's assume that the technical components at a specific location in our company, the location BR, have been reconditioned. Some components have been changed, some additional components have been integrated. The respective data in Maximo from the location BR have to be checked, corrected and completed. The company which performed the modifications has no access to Maximo and the technicians prefer to work with Excel. In Lesson 4, we already used the Universal XLS Import Update tool to export the related asset data to Excel. Now, the data are supposed to be corrected and completed in order to re-import them back to Maximo. In the Start Center of Maximo, we go to the application Assets where our data are located. We will export the data we want to correct, as we already learned in Lesson 4, from Maximo to Excel. We use the location filter to search for the location BR. Now we use the EAM power pack to download the data to Excel. We confirm that we want to open the file with Microsoft Excel. As an alternative, we could also use OpenOffice products as long as they support the XLS file format. As a result, we get all data from the location BR in an Excel chart. We slightly adjust the column width. Now we can see that all data from the object assets have been exported. This includes quite a lot of columns. And the first important step is to reduce the number of columns to only those necessary for the correction of existing data and the integration of new data. If you are familiar with Maximo, you will know that asset number and site ID form a unique ID. As a result, no additional information is necessary, so we can simply delete these columns. Let's have a look at the other columns. We now have to decide what we need for this job and what is unnecessary. Columns like total cost will be calculated automatically by the system as a result of the work order process. Therefore, we can remove this column. The data in the asset up column are filled with the default values defined in the system. They will be filled automatically during the import to Maximo, so you do not have to fill this field. To simplify our example, we will delete most of the data. We leave the long description in the sheet in order to show that the tool is able to import long descriptions as well. To keep it simple, we delete the remaining columns. Let's say our technicians added a second circulation fan, which is basically the same as the first. Therefore, we can use this one as a master copy. We copy and paste this component and give it a unique asset number. This will make it easier to find the new component after the import to Maximo. We leave the parent just as it is, but change the serial number and the asset tag. We leave the location, 
but changed the description of the component. The vendor is the same. Here in the last column, we add the long description. Let's say the technicians also added a new boiler. We copy and paste the first boiler and give it a unique asset number as well. To simplify this, we just add new to the existing description. Now we can, for example, change the description of the emergency generator here. We will later, after the re-import, be able to see all these changes in Maximo. We now save the file at an appropriate location. It is important to save the file in the XLS file format. We name the file asset test import one and save it. Now we close the file and return to Maximo. To make clear what happens after the re-import, we delete the filter we used earlier on to find all components at location BR. Now all assets are listed. We use the EAM software power pack to import the data we corrected and completed in Excel. We select the file asset test import one, which we just created and confirm with OK. Now two things happen. First of all, we are informed by Maximo that two new components have been added and that 14 already existing ones have been updated. At the same time, we can decide whether we want to open the file again in Excel. We confirm this with OK. Now we go back to Excel. At first it looks as if this is exactly the same file we used to import the corrected data to Maximo. But there is one difference. A new column has been added. This asset UID is an internal unique ID which shows us exactly where we made updates and inserts. The small numbers indicate updates, whereas the higher numbers like 1631 and 32 indicate that new data was added. As a result, the whole procedure is completely controllable and transparent. These are the two added ones, as we expected. Let's go back to Maximo. Again, we are informed that there are two inserts and 14 updates. We confirm with OK and can see the result. There are altogether 16 assets, 14 have been corrected, and two new ones have been inserted. Let's have a closer look at one of them. Here are the details, the parent and the location where we added this new component. The long description has been added as well. As you can see, all data have been correctly imported, a lot easier and faster than we could have updated the data manually. Let's go back to the List tab. Here we can see the changes we made earlier on in Excel. For example, the three X's we added to the description. In this lesson, we learned how the EAM Universal XLS Import Update Tool can help to import large amounts of data easily and consistently to Maximo. The tool is ready for delivery. Power users and system administrators who use the tool are enthusiastic and do not want to miss this powerful tool anymore. The tool is certified by IBM as Ready for Tivoli. Please check out the other videos where you'll find more detailed information about the tool's features. If you need more information, please visit our website on eam-software.de or send us an email. We look forward to hearing from you.